guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are sitting down here to film something different, something we haven't done for quite a while. I feel like I haven't done a makeup slash transformation video or like a recreation in a hot minute and I think we are long overdue but the exciting part is today's video is not gonna be, you know, like a celebrity transformation, it's gonna be more of like a really popular character and we all know her by the name. Barbie. Super excited because we are gonna go all out, you know, with the blue eyes, the blonde hair. I just want to see how well or how close I can look to, you know, the very popular Barbie stereotype. Yeah, I just thought it would be super fun to do this video right now because the movie starring Margot Robbie is obviously gonna be out very soon and we're all super excited. Honestly, no clue what to even expect but I feel like it's gonna be a fun watch anyway. Without further ado, let's get into this get ready with me transformation or whatever you wanna call it. The first thing I'm gonna do is obviously apply my blue contacts. I'm just gonna go in with my fingers. Okay, I've got the blue contacts on and now I think I'll do the makeup first. I don't wanna do something dramatic. I just wanna keep it super natural because I don't want it to be super glam. We still do like a lot of concealer, so I still have that really strong structure. So I like to do my concealer only on the shadow, so only right there. And then a little bit here to give me a lift and just some um, on the nose. And then I'm just gonna blend that out. And then I'm actually gonna set that with powder because I don't want it to move when I do my foundation. Honestly, I know the way I do my makeup is all wrong, but everyone has their own techniques and does what works for them. So don't try to come for me for my makeup because I know I'm not good at it, but I just do whatever works or whatever looks good in the end. So I'm just gonna do like a light dust foundation on top of that. I kind of wanna tint my face. I wanna do everything under the foundation so I get like a really natural kind of glow from within makeup. So I think I'm gonna tint my face first for like blush just a little bit on the nose and even some on the lips let's blend all that color out i know it's looking really crazy but we're gonna do foundation on top of this anyway and then redo everything but with a very light hand i'm just gonna dab some foundation on my face and i'm just gonna lightly blend it all out to make sure I get that you know, light tinted moisturizer look and not like a heavy cakey foundation look. I think that's good enough for my base. Keeping it natural, now we're gonna just bring out all the features again, like the concealer, the highlight, the blush, and then we'll move on to the eyes. So I'm just gonna do the blush again, and I like to go crazy with my blush personally. Blend, 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 until the cheeks are nice and rosy. I'm gonna do a lighter shade of the concealer in the same areas just to brighten the area up and I think I'm gonna do some reverse contour as well and then I'm gonna blend and set that all in with powder I think I'll quickly do my eyes now before I go back to my face for the finishing touches I'm just gonna be doing like a subtle smoky eye and just sort of try to smoke out my waterline just a little bit with like a dark brown then I'm just gonna smudge that out with brown eyeshadow we want our eyes to look big and bright so i'm gonna like do a light contour over my eyelids now for some mascara i think the eyes are looking pretty good and barbie-ish of course we're missing a lot of highlighter i'm not gonna use a strong highlighter just to give me that natural kind of glow this one is one of the ogs and has been in my makeup cabinet and collections with me for like a while but just want to give me like a subtle glow very subtle as you can see i'm gonna add a more intense highlight where i feel like i just want a little bit more of a glow like just the tip of the nose here i think we'll do a very mild bronze the nars one actually barely shows up on my face so i'm gonna use this I'm gonna do just a little bit more blush because I'm just feeling extra when it comes to blush. And I just want super rosy cheeks and I just want the whole look to be really rosy and pink. Okay, I'm gonna do the lips in the end because I'm really excited for the hair. I'm gonna try and keep my dark hair out as much as I can and pin it all back. 
This is just a synthetic wig from Amazon, by the way. I do not know how to install a proper wig. I'm just gonna like do this as an amateur, so don't come for me. But I think that's good enough. Time for the wig. This is the wig. Definitely gave me Marco Robbie vibes, Barbie vibes instantly. So, oh my god. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh my gosh, what? This is insane. I just added this little headband because I thought it was a cute Barbie accessory and that is not me. <laughs> that is not me, what the heck? Who is that? I'm gonna add this quick, cute little pearl necklace and just do my lips a little bit. I'm gonna try to make them look super pouty. it in with a brownish pink and that is it so yeah i am so happy with how this turned out this is just everything i envisioned in my head i love the makeup as well i feel like it goes perfectly with this look and the necklace the headband and i think i killed it so yeah let me know what you guys think and hope you guys enjoyed this transformation video this was so fun to do i truly miss doing these and let me know who i should do next or what else you'd want to see from me but yeah that's it for this video so i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment subscribe you guys know the drill don't forget to follow me on all my socials everything will be in the descriptions including all the products that i used for this yes i'll see you guys in my next video bye